Question 16. A lighthouse is typically considered a good example of a public good because A. The owner of the lighthouse is able to exclude beneficiaries from enjoying the lighthouse. B. There is rarely another lighthouse nearby to provide competition. C. A nearby port authority cannot avoid paying fees to the lighthouse owner. D. All passing ships are able to enjoy the benefits of the lighthouse without paying. Or E. The more ships there are, the less light each ship gets. Now let's review the answer choices. A. The owner of the lighthouse is able to exclude beneficiaries from enjoying the lighthouse. Well, a public good is created for the benefit of the public. So this means that the owner of the lighthouse cannot exclude anyone from using the lighthouse. So answer A is incorrect. B. There is rarely another lighthouse nearby to provide competition. Uh, when a public good is created, there are no other rivals, rivals to compete against, against it. This leaves this statement to be incorrect. Answer C. A nearby port authority cannot avoid paying fees to the lighthouse owner. Uh, since the lighthouse is a public good, it is an infrastructure that benefits the public and is funded by government taxation. In this case, the lighthouse owner cannot charge a nearby port authority fees. So this is incorrect. Answer D. All passing ships are able to enjoy the benefits of the lighthouse without paying. The answer is that this answer is the definition of a public good. Public good is the is uh, good available to everyone and the beneficiaries do not need to pay a fee. So answer D is a strong candidate to be correct. Uh, answer E, the more ships there are, the less light each ship gets. This is not necessarily true because the more ships there are, the more likely it is for the lighthouse to help the, ship gets, the ships get to the port. And this is not a definition of a public good, which is the main concept the question is asking. So therefore, answer is D. All passing ships are able to enjoy the benefits of the lighthouse without paying. And this concludes our the review of the Macroeconomics Gateway Study Guide number one. Thank you for listening and have a great day.